Hey, so this video is mainly a thank you, um, but also kind of a warning tutorial situation for any newer YouTubers that need to ever fight a claim of reused content. Um, don't panic. <laughs> it's annoying, but don't panic. Your community will be your saving grace in this moment. Their comments, their likes, their anything that they say will help you out like ours did i'm so i am so happy to have people that want to talk about the things that we want to talk about and it was ultimately the thing that when last month youtube decided to pull our monetization tell us that we had reused content the community was the thing that saved us we um we have been posting shorts videos and community tab like polls and stuff for the last 10 months like really trying to make a community out of youtube because we just find it fun and when youtube's automated system decided that that was not <laughs> not what they wanted to hear and decided to hit us with the demonetization we didn't know exactly what to do but again it was really the community itself the likes the comments especially the comments i love comments bro i love talking to you guys in the comments it um it really <laughs> makes my day i try to I try to go through and make sure that the comment section is family friendly as per the fact that we said that we like it to be family friendly. People who leave the comments with the words. I still love you guys, but please, please calm down in the comments. Um, We just we just been making such like different i don't i don't know i forget the word um various various different videos <laughs> with the intention of being like siblings online that we are in the real world our our real world relationship is so hilariously just scattered um that we just kind of wanted to bring the same energy to the internet and when we did a lot of people kind of came on board and i appreciate that so anyway let's go over to the appeal video and see what we did let's go so one important thing that i've learned from my mom actually when she was talking about what teachers expect in college is that when people who are asking you for an assignment ask you for the assignment and they give you clear-cut directions then you follow them you follow the clear-cut directions they give you here youtube gave out specific guidelines for what this video should be like if you want to appeal we need you to give us this and what they had asked for was for us to prove that we made this content like it was original it was different it was our own words um we edited it and we it was just of our hands you know so i did that i made them an even more silly little edited video where i had the judge read off our um what we're accused of and then i gave them the proof basically youtube had said that the videos that we make were not of our own creation now this basically this accusation basically started when my brother started putting the transformers shorts up because they were getting a bunch of traction and first they were being marked made for kids and then when we fought that the whole demonetization thing happened that's when i can say you guys really stepped in because 
the combination of showing them our editing style, our various um, videos, like our different um, selection of videos, our gaming commentary, um, nostalgic content, and you guys telling us in the comments that you liked the subtitles, that you thought they were funny, that you thought they were unique. It was a unique way to go about the content. Just blew the whole accusation out the water. It was not even possible at that point to say, hey, this is this is reused content. Um, so I think if you are a YouTuber that comes across this same issue where YouTube tells you that you have reused content on your channel, you need to make sure that you have your proof of editing, your comments um, where people you know, where people express that they watch your content for your unique takes. If you have any of those, I would suggest screenshotting them, putting them in a video. And then also just make sure that you specifically read through everything that YouTube said and what they asked for and give them exactly what they asked for. They asked us to also make this under five minutes. And I was like, how in the world do we add all the proof in under five minutes? But once you once you start to put the video together, it actually it's actually a lot less video than you think. So we ended up with a three minute video and it worked. It worked. YouTube was like, oh, for sure. The next day, the next day, YouTube was like reinstated and i really feel like a majority part of that is because of you guys so thank you thank you again we plan to make more content in the future um a lot more you know i got me a png tuber the siblings are planning to get them some png tubers as well we like to make commentary videos we like to make gaming videos we will continue to put our shorts on because it's fun and if you continue to watch them that would be great i'll see you guys in the next video bye first then mama pocket can will trio i'm sure you know why you're here you're here because you're accused of not having original content on your channel. Now, I'm sure you know what is and what's not okay to monetize, do you not? Yes, Your Honor, we're going to address that today, so we have proof. Hmm, proof you say. Well, very well. Go ahead. I'll be watching very closely, so make your case. If you take a look here, then you'll see that we have many different videos from commentary to art to even gaming videos. And if you look at our shorts, you'll see that there's even nostalgic content like pieces that we took from games and we talked over or even captioned over um, or m shows that we captioned over as well. Now, this is important because you were we are required to show you that we have all types of different videos and original content. This is how we edit. We take our stuff over to CapCut mostly so that we can cut up any videos just like I did for this one. For our YouTube shorts, we usually caption them over in YouTube itself most of the time. Now, <laughs> they're usually just a minute long, but you can see that we put our own wording over top and people even tell us that it's funny or repeat what we said now if them reading and repeating wasn't enough they outright tell us that they appreciate our commentary our unique commentary if that doesn't say that it's unique i don't know what else does and to address the fact that this is supposedly most of our content um, we have 759 videos across our YouTube shorts and videos, 
and only 40 of them have this style. So it's nowhere near a majority. That's not even 10%. So to conclude, I would like to say we started this channel to build community. We love our community and the ability to post all types of different content. Taking away our monetization was hurtful, but taking away the memberships was more hurtful than that because it took away an ability to connect with our community in a different way to give them new content that only they can see. And we gained our members fair and square. We have, <laughs> we had two, but it meant a lot to us that they cared about our content. 